All right, welcome to this money video. Now this video with the color schemes, purple, oh, that's yellow, that's purple. Together, my money colors. I don't know why, but I actually really dig this purple and yellow color. So in today's topic, what we're gonna be talking about is how to make money. Now I'm only gonna talk about how to make money from my experience. I don't know how to make money with crypto. I don't know how to make money with investment stocks and shares. I don't know how to make money with real estate. In fact, I've bought lots and lots of real estate and every time I bought real estate, I've lost money. So I'm not gonna to talk to you about real estate. What I am gonna talk about today is how to use the internet, in particular paid advertising and funnels to be able to make money. This is how I've made money over the last decade of being inside of the online marketing and digital marketing space before I took a couple of years off just to be a father. One of the most important reasons as a man, I believe, is your ability to protect and provide, okay? Provide for your family, provide oxygen, provide freedom, provide money to give your family choices. I believe that there was something in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, that nothing debilitates a man more than not having any money. There is nothing more debilitating to a man than, than being a poor man, okay? We see the confidence taken out of homeless men. Okay, on the flip side, nothing actually gives men more power, more confidence, more certainty than having money. Now, the character of a man is for you to decide, for you to decide who you actually wanna be. I'm not here to discuss the character of good or bad traits of what money does to people, whether or not you turn into a dick, an asshole, whether or not you become an amazing, generous person. I don't know to your character, but what I can tell you is that money will actually help you and help your family have more freedom, have more options. It gives you more space and time. It gives you patience, okay? So when my four-year-old daughter breaks shit around the, around the house, I'm not freaking out about a broken glass because I'm like, oh my God, I, I, like, why did you break that glass? I'm actually, my, my first instinct has now become, are you okay? It's okay, calm down, pause, patience, instead of snapping it. And I know that back in the days, okay, in a poorer situation, Paul in Trin, I would have cracked the shits at her if I didn't have any money. Okay, and what does that do? It actually creates a bad relationship, bad neuro association. It doesn't allow us to connect. She's, she'll be constantly walking on eggshells. And so one of the most important skills that you can have as a man to lead your family is your ability to produce money and be, be able to actually provide for it. I'm not saying this as if uh, women shouldn't make money, your wife shouldn't make money. I believe she can make money, but the responsibilities of being able to make money and when shit hits the fan, when you have bills, when you've got the mortgage to pay, when tax man comes, when you need to buy a new car, when you need to take care of insurance, you're taking care of that. In my particular experience, in terms of a man, my polarity and my relationship with my wife, Carrie, comes down to her ability to know that she has complete faith and certainty inside of my ability to produce, protect and provide it. All right, so today is not about this. Today is simply about making money. And so one of the greatest skills that I think that anybody who wants to make money, anybody that has a business and wants to grow that business to make more money, if you don't have a business, this, this is a great skill for you to actually a, a, a accumulate inside of your mind so that you can actually offer it to other people and actually go, hey, I don't have a business, but I know these skills and I can come inside of your business and help you grow. Is your ability to understand advertising and sales. Now sales not in the form of cold call picking up the phone, but sales through a, a messaging inside of the funnel. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna to go to my trusty iPad and bear with me because I haven't done this for about three years since I left my coaching days. But we're bringing back the iPad, baby. And what you can see here, okay, what you can see here is this ad acts as a magnet. Okay, this ad acts as a magnet to pull in your prospect and it pulls in your prospects in here towards this particular sales message. There's only two things that really happen here. One, there's an ad, an ad goes out. If you write a really, really good ad that actually appeals to the person, the prospect that you're talking to, and you can pull them in, and you can get them to see this. All that you need is eyeballs on this particular message, this particular offer. This message, right, I'm not gonna um, fluff over anything. I really wanna go inside a detail here. This message is known as a sales funnel. Okay, ideally, it's just a page with a video on it. Could be no video. In fact, I've seen pages without new video selling really, really well. And it says, hey, here's what we have. Here's why you need it. Here's what it's gonna do for you. And here's the button to buy this. And fundamentally, if you actually think about being able to make money, this is how we transact. 
So if you go online and you're looking for groceries right now, a lot of you guys will actually go online, check out a grocery piece, you'll wanna buy some milk, you buy it online, you'll get it delivered, you just literally, there wasn't an ad, there could be an ad, there could be an ad that reminded you on Facebook, on Google, something that you forgot your milk, would you like to buy some milk, blah, 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 blah. There's a particular offer. It pulls you in, that ad magnetizes you into the page and says, hey, here's some good milk, it's on sale, here's a $2 discount. Instead of being $7, it's now $5, go add it to the cart, go check out, go buy. And so what's happened here is essentially, that's all that's happened okay alternatively you didn't actually need to see the ad you just thought about this you visited this page this website and you bought it. so the whole idea here is your ability to master these two things the first thing that you need to master is your ability to write really good ads to pull out and connect to a person and pull them in the second thing that you need to master is your messaging on a sales page be able to write to a person Hey, I've got a product. This is who it's for. This is who it's not for. This is what it will do for you. These are the outcomes that we offer. Here's why this is different to other products and here's why you should give it a try. Plus you take on some risk reversal. A really good starting point I would recommend for you if you want to develop to make money online is read The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan Kennedy. This, this is the first book. He actually lays out exactly step-by-step -step how to sell through a sales page. And so that's kind of the first piece. The second piece is then just literally advertising understanding. And the reason is, I, I want to kind of dive out a little bit. The reason why I choose this business model over creating content, I know this is a little bit ironic because I'm creating content, is that content is a personal brand play. It is one of those things that is, that is extremely slow. It's one of those things that it's extremely hard because everybody's creating content. It's literally, it costs absolutely nothing. It's free to create content. It's one of those things where you actually have to be really good. You have to have a level of expertise. You have to have a level of charisma. You have to be somewhat entertaining. You have to understand your messaging to a, to a point. You have to understand how to communicate effectively in order for that content to go up and, and for people to watch it and want to watch it and continue watching it. And that's when, that's when content becomes really, really effective. I believe everybody should create content. But without expertise, without charisma, without communication, well, should you start putting your energy in creating content? No. And here's why. Because you need to develop that. You need to develop your expertise. You need to develop your skills. You need to develop your depth of knowledge. You need to practice your communication. That will take time. And so the very first thing I think that every person should have is this understanding of an ability to write a really good ad and then to connect it to a sales message. The craziest part about this is this is how simple it is. You can write an ad on Facebook and it's literally like, hey, is this you? This is an ad. Hey, is this you? Are you this person? Are you suffering with these symptoms? Are you overweight? Do you struggle with binge eating? Do you struggle with low energy? Do you walk up the stairs and huff and puff? If that's the case, I've got something amazing for you. Go check this out. This is a system that I've used with hundreds and hundreds of people. It's really effective. It's the best system for, for men who are 300 kilos, 600 pounds obese and can't get out of bed. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just kind of like Bear with me as I'm kind of making some shit up right now to, to give you a bit of an idea of what this ad can be. So on this sales page, you can literally have a video of you if you're comfortable with doing a video of you. If you don't, you literally just go down and fill out, well, if you're here, you're a man, you're struggling, blah, 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 who is this for? What are you doing here? What problems do you have? What have you tried? What is this new system? Why is this system more effective? You're creating what we like to call a sales argument, okay, for this person to go, ha ha you know what, I'm gonna give this a try because this does sound compelling. Okay, so your ability to advertise and sell. When I say sell, I don't mean sell over the phone. What I do mean is sell over text, sell over videos, sell over sales messages like this. The reasons why you don't wanna sell over the phone just yet is because you're gonna be very limited for time. I would rather try to find the skills and work on skills that are most leveraged here. So the reasons why I think this is super effective is that you can connect dot to dot. And the whole goal here is if you can spend $100, let's just say you, you this, this thing that you're trying to sell is $50. And if you can spend $100 on advertising and you can make two sales, you've hit a pot of gold. Like you're breaking even. You're, 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 you've gone into the casino, you've put money in and you're guaranteed not to lose any money. Okay. And if you can work on your skills, basically, if you keep putting money in, there's a very high chance that you're going to win over time. 
But I want you to understand this. If your goal here is to break even, this is one of the most fundamental skills that you can have, to break even on a sales funnel. And how simple is this? You don't have to think about any of the upsells. You don't have to think anything about anything else. I just want you to think about these two things that you actually have to master. You have to master the advertising piece and you have to master the sales messaging piece. You've got this thing that you're selling for 50 bucks. It could be $100, it could be $20. The recommendation is from zero to like $200 on a page if you want to sell something. Uh, it's, 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 the, it's the norm. It's the it's standard. Have, have people been able to sell anything higher at higher prices on a page? Sure, they have. Okay, is it something common? And the reasons why I want you to think about this is I love selling digital products. The reasons why I love selling digital products is because if this doesn't work. If my message completely bombs, I can create another message. I can change the message. It has flexibility. Digital product is a piece of knowledge that I can extract out of my brain and actually go, you know what? People didn't actually want this. They actually now want this thing. And now I can actually create that framework again, apply it for this particular problem instead of that problem. So I'm, I'm constantly going out there to test, test the marketplace. If I sell a physical product, then I need to establish a lot of product market fit. I need to go through all this drop shipping. I need to figure out what people are buying. Uh, people then buy, I then have to order in bulk. I have to keep inventory, okay? The reasons why I love digital products is because what you can do is if you actually get this product uh, market fit and you actually find that message and you break even, let's say you spend $100. Let's say you make two sales. Let's say you make $100 back. Essentially, you're like, Lynn, I haven't, I haven't actually made any money. What you, what you have made is you've actually bought two customers, and I guarantee you this, you've probably bought 10 leads. Okay, the beauty about this is this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark the leads in red, and I'm going to mark the customers in blue. The beauty about this is this. You can now email, you can now message, you can SMS, you can now email these customers and these leads to your next product. Okay, so for example, if you have a store and you're selling socks, you know, these two guys, let's just say they bought something, they're, they're over 600 pounds, they, they've bought my system, 50 bucks. I've got two guys that have bought my system, 50 bucks. They're going through it, it's, it's a great system. I teach them how to eat, exercise, mindset, etc., etc., to overcome their habits and, and lose weight. Over time, if I decide, hey, you know what? I wanna come out with this thing called uh, a fat burning pill. I wanna come out with a protein shake. I wanna come out with like, you know, some vitamin pills. I want to come out with liver pills, oyster pills, whatever it is. I want to come out with a, a t-shirt. You can actually create a t-shirt and you can literally go, hey guys, uh, I'm creating this t-shirt. Would you just like to buy it? And then they'll buy it. And all of this becomes profit. Okay. And, 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 and the whole goal of this is your ability to build a community. Because when you build a community and people inside of a congregated community, you can actually create more products and more services and, and innovate so that you can go and serve that community further. You go, hey, like, what would people want in this community that I could actually help them get towards their goals? So you can actually come up with vitamins, pills, you can come up with ev events, retreats, you can come up with meetups, catch-ups, you can come up with more workouts if you like in an app and sell them a continuity on that. You can sell them anything. But the very first thing is that you have to figure out in order to grow your business at the start, this is the most important thing that you need to actually figure out. How can I build this community for free? How can I build this community for free? The craziest part about organic content is that you will post content and you might not get any more followers. You'll get some views, you'll get some likes, blah, 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 blah. But with this, if you can figure this out, well, essentially, if you figure this out, you instead of spending $100, you spend 1,000. You spend a thousand, let's assume that you make a thousand back, okay? And there are many ways to make a thousand back on the front end. Like you can actually then begin to add in upsells and et cetera, et cetera. But the whole goal, I want you to just think about this to keep it very simple right now. If I spend a thousand dollars on ads and I make a thousand dollars back in revenue, I have not lost, I have not gained any money. Assuming that taxes and blah, 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 blah. You can figure it out. I'm sure there's gonna be people going, but what about taxes, expenses, blah, blah, blah. Let's assume that it breaks even. It might be 1,100. What you've actually gained, if we actually stick to the math, is instead of 10 leads, you actually go to 100 leads now. Instead of, 10, uh, instead of two customers, you actually go to 20 buyers. Okay, so you actually haven't made any money, but you've built the most important thing, which are your community right here. You've built community of leads and you've built a community of buyers. What can you do with this? Let me kind of open up your mind into what has been one of the biggest gifts that I've been able to learn. You can promote stuff to them. Do you, know, do you know what happens on like Valentine's Day, on Easter, on Christmas, on Halloween, on Black Friday, on Cyber Monday, on all of these things? It's just um, America's way to actually create a reason for people to buy shit and for people to come up with sell shit. So I can come up and go, hey, like we're running a Black Friday promo promotion, Black Friday promotion. I've got this other thing. I've got this, actually, I've got this new workout. 
and then you can just sell it to these people and sell it at a discount. And what you can do is every month you can set up a promotion for the rest of the life. Okay, January, February, March, April, May, and every month sell them something else, another digital product. And then they'll buy and they'll buy. And then this is where you actually start to see the profit in the back end. Now the craziest part is, once again, do you, if you wanna make more money in the back end, what do you need to do? You need to have more customers, you need to have more prospects to market to. Okay, number one, get more customers. Number two, you gotta sell them more stuff. If I go back to that, where I'm actually leading to is this is a little, little bit more advanced for today, but there are only three ways to actually grow your business. Number one, get more customers. Number two, sell them more stuff. Number three, sell them more things at a higher value. Okay, increase the average uh, value cut. So the very first thing is this, this is the golden egg that I need you to understand right here. Imagine now if we actually play, play around with the numbers and go, okay, we're gonna spend $10,000 and let's say we make $10,000 back. We haven't actually made any money on the front end. We've actually broken even. But if we actually stick to this, we now have a thousand leads. We are now having 200 buys. And then the fact is, what if you set up a promo that every month you have something else to sell to them? Maybe a digital product, maybe a physical product, maybe an event that you want to set up that you can sell to them. Maybe you do one-to-one -one coaching programs. And the reasons why I'm sh sharing this with you is that none of this, what I'm, what I'm sharing with you isn't theory. It's actually what I do. It's what I do right now for a dozen partners where I actually go in, I build these funnels, I strategically help them and we scale their rads. We scale their rads and, and we try to break even on the front end. And I know that because we're breaking even, they have other stuff to sell them. We can promote them stuff on the back end in January, February, March. April, May, we can open our one-to-one -one coaching program. We can launch an event. We can actually launch subs. We're doing this right now. And the numbers are, are crazy because the, if you want to grow your business faster, what do you need to do? You need to just spend more on money on ads to acquire more leads, more customers, and then sell them more stuff. Obviously, with the best intent to help them. That's a given. This is, I'm, I'm, look, I'm literally looking at the mathematics right now. But of course, helping them and creating the best product, that's a given. I'm not gonna talk about, oh, you just sell them random shit. No, you make the best product for their best needs and you make sure, and if you don't know how to best, you can partner with people. So one of the greatest skills right now is I get the opportunity to work with a dozen people that I think are really, really cool. We build out these things. My job is just to figure out that ad, that, that sales message at the start to ha actually help them break even. And then we set up cyclical promos around the clock to promote them stuff. And the craziest part is the more I spend, the faster the business grows. So the business growth isn't in relation to time. It's not, hey, we spent three years on this business. It's like, hey, how do we spend $5,000 today? How do we spend $10,000 today? How do we do $20,000? How do we do $50,000 today? On one of our accounts, we're spending $30,000 a day. That is $900,000 a month. So you can imagine, even if we just did, even if we broke even, and for this account, we're not even breaking even. We're spending 900, we're about doing 750 on the back end, and then basically from there, we're getting all of our profits because we know the next, we know that we're getting all these leads, all these customers, and they'll buy that next thing. And by that first promotion, we will be profitable. And then we'll be profitable on the second promotion, third promotion, fourth promotion. The craziest part about this is that I come in as a partner, and I get paid a percentage of revenue that I generate. So anything that I touch that I generate, percentage. It can range from 15 to 25%, depending on the business, depending on the size, depending on the company, growth opportunity, and negotiations. The craziest part about this is I don't have to work with hundreds of thousands of people in order to make hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. In fact, we work with a dozen because all of this is really high value, high touch. And I'm sharing this with you because I want to give you the ability to actually go, hey, I wanna learn these skills, or hey, I wanna implement inside of this, inside of my own business and grow it rapidly. I wanna implement these own skills for myself and be more valuable, and then that way I can work with three, four, five people and fucking make make quite a decent living, you know, 15, 20, $50,000 a month. We've got some accounts right now, ridiculous, that like I've got some clients that, that are paying anywhere between $30,000 and $40,000 per invoice depending on what uh, what percentage split was for that month, what gen revenue generated we made. We got up to $60,000 at one point for one invoice. But most consistent across the board is 30 to 40. And you sit back and you actually just get to sit back inside of your zone of genius because you're solving the hardest problem for them. How do I get more customers? How do I get more customers and how can I sell them more stuff? And you're trying to solve this at a high level. So the very first thing I want you to think about is how do you operate at a low level? I'm going to go back because that's a shocking, that's a shocking $10 right there. I'm going to go back with this. How do you make 10? How do you spend 10 and make 10? That's the first goal. How do you spend 10 and make 10? Because if you don't lose customers, fantastic. You're on to that next thing. Then you go, how do I spend 20 and make 20? How do I spend 30 and make 30? How do I spend 40 and make 40? And the craziest part about this is that's when you begin to learn about running these ads, 
running it to a sales message, a message, this is the first step, and then you begin to add in upsells to increase this thing called average order value. Okay, average order value means how do I get them to buy this first thing? And this first thing might be $27. How do I get them to buy this second thing? This is $97. How do I get them to buy this third thing? It's $67. And how do I get them to buy them this fourth thing? The craziest part about this is something that we're implementing is a $0 trial, 30 days, and then $97 a month. And then if you do the math of this, if, if one person takes this up, there is a percentage. There is generally a 25% chance if you structure the second thing that they'll take on the second thing, 25% chance, and then there's a 30% chance that they take on. So if you think about the average order value and you do the math, it now becomes 27. My handwriting is absolutely shocking. 27 plus 0.25 multiplied by 97 plus uh, 0.25 multiplied by 67 um, and then I'm just going to skip out on the trial and then we just look at the trials but this becomes the average order value here okay let's say I'm going to give you some Asian math 27 I'm going to call this 25 because 97 is closer to 100 um, and then we're going to be calling this 15 just to kind of even out the math so you've got 25 plus 15, you've got 40 there, and then you've got 27. So your average order value has gone from six, uh, from, from, has gone from $27 to $67 just because you added in the upsells. I hope that makes sense. So you've gone, hey, by adding in upsells, by adding in other things that people can buy, you've now increased the average order value. And so I'll, I'll, I'll make, I want to create a series for you to actually walk through to, to think about how I do this particularly, but I, I, without overwhelming you, I want you to simply think about, well, how do I get this? How do I nail this down first? How do I nail this? And how do I nail this? How do I nail these two things? How do I nail the ads? And then how do I nail that sales message to kind of get people to buy first? And then if you're down, okay, if you spend $20 and you only make 10, we can go, okay, how do we optimize this? How do we make these ads better? And how do we optimize this? Because it's this thing where it's like, if you write better ads, your cost per click decreases, you get more people for the same, for more bang for your buck because you're, you're attracting more people, social media networks like you. And then with this, you're kind of like going, okay, well, how do I write this better in a better way? How do I communicate this offer? How do I make this offer better so that more people will take it up? So instead of like 2% of people buying it, two out of every 100, you double it to 4%. And then you kind of like, all of this, what I want you to understand is that this isn't like shares or gambling or the casino. This is actually like you're putting money in and then based on your level of skills that you have, based on your, your ability to write ads, based on your ability to write sales messages and communicate your offer and come up with a good offer, the better you get at that, the, the, the odds go in your favor. This is the closest thing to like gambling, but you can stack all the odds in your favor and make it work. Okay. So I want to I be able to give this to you because I think fundamentally, if I'm going to start some, somewhere in 2024, this is some, somewhere that I would start because this skill can be translated across the board. You can take this skill to any place, any business, any business on earth that needs to grow, they need something like this in order to acquire customers at a break even, at a loss leader. It's one of those things where you, you literally see, you know, why, does, why, why, why do big supermarket chains lose money on sending you out those those big catalogs, right? I, I remember when I was young, I was so excited because Woolies, this, this Woolies is a supermarket here in Australia. Woolies would send out a catalog every week. So when I was 10, I'd be like, oh my God, when I open up Woolies, Tim Tams are on sale, ice cream is on sale, and they're like lost leaders. They're like, they're like breaking even on this. And the reasons why they're breaking even, they know that if they can make these little items on sale, it can pull you into the supermarket and then you'll buy other stuff. Okay, so that's the same concept that I want you to apply here. We're using this to actually go, hey, this little thing is so good that it's actually going to pull you in and then eventually we can sell you other stuff. That's the whole goal. It's like why Costco has their chicken for like, um, I don't know how much their chicken is, but I believe it is under their cost price. It's like $7, $5 chicken. And why they have like a dollar uh, hot dogs or whatever it is. It's to bring people in so that they'll buy other things eventually at the end. Okay, so I want you to think about this. This is, this is a hard skill. But before we get overwhelmed, there are a couple of things that I want you to understand. There's literally just an ad and there's literally just a funnel. And these are the two things that you actually have to figure out first. If the balance isn't working, well, you can learn how to write better ads. This is a, this is a skill that you can actually work on, you can improve on. If your funnel isn't converting, you can figure out, hey, I want to go, I'll, it's actually just not working. 
we need a different offer. We need a different message. Like this, this, this really, really obese guy doesn't want my fat loss thing. Maybe he wants um, my mindset thing to overcome his habits, to actually get him motivated again. So instead, instead of selling him a program, now I'm actually going, hey, like, is your mind holding you back? And we're trying to get him to understand that maybe it's his mind and habits. And instead of creating this offer around fitness, around training, maybe he says, fuck it, I don't, I don't want this. My mind, I just don't feel motivated. I can't even get off the bed to even do this stuff. So now you tackle the mind and the motivation. How do you get your kickstart again? And the craziest part is, I know some of you just like me and like, well, Lynn, I'm not an expert in that topic. That's fantastic. You can then partner with people. You can then go, hey, like, I may not be the best at this. And yes, I have an understanding of what, how to sell stuff. But could I partner with the best in the world? Or could I partner with the second best in the world, third in the best? And that you can find tons and tons of people on TikTok, on Instagram that are creating content that they are really good at what they do, but they actually don't know any of this stuff. So they can't grow their business. So what they're doing is they're like, they're grinding all day, spending money on, um, so at the spending time on Instagram, posting content, posting content, you wouldn't believe how many people post on content, have half a million followers, they keep posting, but because they don't understand the economics, they don't understand how to sell offers, they don't understand how to set up promotions, they, they don't make any money. And so what they do is they sell like, they do sponsorships, they sell gadgets, they're, they're at the demise of like other people and affiliates, you know, they would love to take back control. <laughs> I'm just going to pause here because as I'm reflecting, I'm, I'm like wondering, well, I've just opened up a can of worms and where do I take this? So the very first thing I want you to understand is if I'm going to go back, here's why I'm not going to do content as my number one strategy. I wouldn't have the skills. I wouldn't have the knowledge. I wouldn't have the ability to communicate. What you see here, even then, is probably like the last 10 years of skills knowledge. My communication has been a little bit poor from me simply not showing up to communicate every single day for the last four years since I decided to take some time off. Right? So now my ability over time with the next video and the next 40, 50, 100 videos will get better over time. And that's, that's the case. I'm, at least this is, this is my argument coming from me based on where I'm at today. Okay? Maybe I have a different argument in five years, 10 years. But this is where I'm at today. And I, I completely would put all of my money to learn on, on these skills so that you can, you can grow. Okay, so wh where can you even apply this? If you're a business owner, I want you to think about a couple of things. I want you to think about what is a lost leader? What is something that you can create so good that you can actually get leads and customers? And then with those leads and customers, you can actually sell them more stuff and send them up to the next product or service or whatever that you have. If you don't have a business, I want you to think about, hey, how can you go out there and study this so that you can become, you can learn these skills so that you can actually work with business owners and then go, hey, how would you like me to, uh, how would you like me to actually increase your leads and customers for free? It doesn't cost you anything because we can break even on the front end. It won't cost you anything. And people, when they think about advertising, they're like, I don't want to advertise. I'm losing money. People want to advertise. They want to spend money, but they want to make money. At the same time, imagine this. Imagine if you can go up with someone and say, hey, like, I'm going to advertise for you. I'm going to get you like a million impressions on your business, on your brand. It's not going to cost you anything because we're going to build this thing out just to break even. And then all those leads and customers that you have, we're going to sell them something else down the line. The craziest part is this is the holy grail. You don't want to spend money, okay? Most people don't want to advertise because they're losing money with advertising. You're probably losing money with that. You're like, I hate advertising. So the craziest part is why don't you just break even? So you recoup that advertising cost back. Now you have leads, you have the customers, and you can communicate, you can promote stuff to them. All right, so I'm gonna leave that video here. And then what I will tell back when we come back for our purple and, and yellow days or orange days, uh, going in depth into mastering this. I wanna show you some case studies. I wanna show you what we're doing behind the scenes, how we scale it. I wanna show you how to write really good ads. I wanna show you really good offers so that you can play around with it. It's literally just that, that the ad and the offer. And then if you can nail that right, you can get enough flow and you can work on that. And that works really, really well. You can add in the upsells and then we'll look at the promotions and then we'll look at, fuck, like once you do this, your business will actually grow very, very quickly. Okay. But it's not make money and get rich quick. It's actually, you got rich because you learned the skills um, and the right skills that created the most leverage inside of your business. Growing fast is all about leverage. Okay. Where can you leverage um, where can you generate the most leverage? And leverage is generated by, well, if I have a lot of followers, if I have a million followers, there's leverage. It will take a long time to build up to a million followers. Right? Like that, that's just the reality. Or how quickly could I spend a million dollars next month? Okay, leverage is, could I spend a million dollars next month 
And no, I couldn't be able to spend a million dollars next month because I could spend it, but I wouldn't be able to make it back. I'd go, I would go out of business. So how do I spend a million dollars? There are great questions to ask. How do I spend a million? How do I make a million back on the front end? And then how do I get all these leads and customers so that I can keep promoting them more valuable things that will actually serve them for a long time? All right. I'm going to tune out from here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, uh, if you like the, con uh, like the content, subscribe, please. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment as well. What is something that you learned? What are some questions that you have? Have you tried this and, and you failed? What would you like to see? Let me know and I'll be happy to take that into consideration into my next couple of videos. Thank you so much. God bless. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.